The first step of success in CAD is in understanding your workspace. In this lesson, we're going to go over everything that you see when you first open CAD. So let's get into it. So we did it. We finally got to the episode where we're going to be opening up CAD. But one last time, we're going to go to this board and we're going to talk about the key terms that we're going to be going over in this lesson to better understand it before we dive into the actual computer. So coming over here to the whiteboard, we have two of those key terms that we're going to be talking about specifically, origins and planes. Now I'm going to kind of tie in axes with planes and you're going to see that here in a second. First one I want to talk about though is origin. Now, I want you guys to think about the origin, and this is a term that we kind of already know a little bit, but as a point in space, and it kind of tells us where we're at. It's similar to, a, say, a GPS coordinate, right? We have it on our phones, maps. It kind of tells you where you're at on Earth. The origin is your home base, and it tells you where you're at in space in CAD's world. Now, it's pretty much stipulated by three points in space. So your X, your Y, and your Z. So I'm gonna label these here. And I'm going to kind of take you back to some middle school action where we're going to have a little graph here. And we're going to have this labeled with Y on one axis and X on the other. Now these are graduated. So we're going to put on a little graduation marks. And let's just put a point in space out here randomly here. Now we, we all know that this point where the X and the Y meet is our zero, zero. Now, if we count these out, these little tallies, we got one, two, three, four, five. This is our five on our X, and then one, two, three, four. This is gonna be four on our Y. The one thing we're missing right now is Z. Now, Z is, on this, we have a two-dimensional surface. This is actually kind of diving into the plane thing we're gonna talk about, is we have zero for the, the Z. So if I draw it up here on this, we would have five for our X, four for our Y, zero for our Z. Now that we kind of understand that it's essentially just a graph like this, let's jump into CAD over here and talk about where we can find the origin. Now, we open up Fusion, and the first thing we're gonna see is just a grid pattern, a little point in space out here, and most of the time, origin is hidden, and we can know that it's hidden there's a little eyeball next to it. Now, if that eyeball is grayed out, that means that it is not showing, it is in a hide mode. If we click it, it'll turn dark, and that allows us to start seeing things. I did go ahead and get ahead of you guys a little bit and hit a lot of the things we're gonna talk about, and I'm gonna show them as we go through them. The only thing that is showing currently right now is our origin. I can click that little eyeball and hide it and show it, and we can see that that is displaying a little dot here in the middle of the screen. If I click on this, on the bottom right corner, so down here, we can say origin point x0, y0, z0, just like what we talked about on the board. And that's just that point in space, that's our home base that we're gonna be using. Now, coming back to the whiteboard again, let's go over what planes and axes are. Now, we have a point, so our origin point is gonna be here in the middle, so this is our X, Y, and Z zero here. And from there, we have three lines that kind of go out. They're all perpendicular to each other, right? They're 90 degrees perfectly from each other. And we have an X one, a Y one, and a Z. Now these right here are our axes, is how they're labeled. And then in between each one of these makes a flat sheet, and that's gonna be our plane. Now, these are labeled based off of the axes that makes that plane. So if I go across this Z and my X right here, that is going to be my X, Z plane. Uh, also, my Y and my Z axes makes my Y, Z plane. And my X and my Y, you can guess it, X, Y plane. Now, a great way to think about this in a different way is to use the room that I'm standing in, right? So, first of all, I have planes. These are my walls right here. So I have the floor, I have my this wall and this wall. Where all of the walls in the room meet are gonna be my axes. So I want you to think of this vertical one that goes up the room as my Z. 
the one that's gonna kinda come towards you is my X, and the one that's going kind of away is my Y. So this would be my XY plane, my XZ plane, my YZ plane. So now that we can kinda see that, understand it, all these are is just, think of it as a piece of paper, right? We're just drawing on a piece of paper, and this is in a, in a space just kind of saying where it's at. So coming back to CAD, let's display these and how we see them. Again, I have them pre-hidden, so if you guys open this up in Autodesk Fusion, you're gonna end up seeing maybe these all showing already, but we can display my X, my Y, and my Z. Now I have three lines that are attached to that origin, just like we talked about it. I can then display my X, Y, my XZ and my YZ to display the planes. And that's it. Now we can see all my planes kind of displayed in the middle of the screen. The last thing I'm gonna kind of talk about is the toolbar. Now the toolbar, we're gonna get into a lot more um, detail in the next lesson, but that's gonna display a sketch. Um, and we're gonna use that sketch to kind of draw something really quick so we can talk about the tools that are available to you to manipulate your screen. The first one and the most important one for you initially is gonna be the view cube. Then we're gonna talk about how to pan, rotate, and then have our home view if you get lost, which is gonna happen at the very beginning. So going back up to that top left, we're gonna to see our toolbar. I'm going to just click sketch. Again, don't worry about anything in here. We're gonna start going over them in future lessons. Now, I have to select a plane, that piece of paper that I wanna sketch on, Initially, it doesn't matter which one you pick. You can pick any of them. Later on, when you get into complex assemblies, you're gonna wanna pick certain ones for orientation reasons. But by then, you'll have a really good understanding of CAD and you'll know which one to pick um, from that. So we're gonna pick this XY, just have something easy. And I'm just gonna draw a quick circle so we can kinda of see what we're doing with our pans. We're gonna click Finish Sketch. So now we can see the circle in space. I can rotate it around. Now I touched on that view cube. That view cube is up here in the top right corner and you kind of know it, it just looks like a cube. You can see your Z, your X, your Y axes and if you click on like back, it's interactive. So we can use this to flip and rotate our screen up and down as well as these little rotational axes. So we can rotate about the axis there. And if I end up losing it, say I move this off my screen, the easiest way to get it back is to hit this little home button. It's going to reorient the origin back into the center of your screen and have it in an ISO view so you can kind of see what's going on again. There's also tools in the bottom center of your screen that are able to be done a couple different ways. Now you can see here we have the pan. So if I click on pan, I can click my left on my mouse and I can pan the image back and forth. I can click zoom and if I click that left click, I can zoom it in and out, just simply using the left click on my mouse. And you can always go back to home doing that there. Now, another way to do it is if you have a left and right key on your mouse, as well as a scroll button in the center, the scroll button in the center allows you to pretty much do everything. So you can go up and down with it to zoom in and out. If you hold it, you can pan left and right or up and down. And if you hold shift in it, you can rotate. So you can flip it around and rotate. Again, as you do this, if all of a sudden your whole image is not on the screen anymore, just go back up to the view cube, click home, it'll get you back to where you need to be. Now, we now have a decent understanding of where things are and how we're gonna manipulate our screen. We're gonna dive into on the next lesson, the toolbar at the very top and start working out how we're gonna start sketching our washer. So we'll see you on the next lesson.